Ruskin is the world leader in controlled oxygen incubation solutions for studies involving physiologically relevant cell culture, including stem cell applications. Early in his research at Keele University, Professor Nicholas Forsyth and his team discovered that to accurately recreate the physiologically relevant environment that their cells needed for optimal growth, they would need to consider the effect of dissolved oxygen in the culture media. To help him develop the technology he needed to quickly and precisely deoxygenate culture media for his work, Professor Forsyth chose to engage Baker Ruskin, which developed a prototype for a media conditioning system. This system was soon commercialized as Hypoxicool. Here's Professor Forsyth discussing the impact that Hypoxicool had on his research. That engagement, as, as, uh, as indicated, also led to our development of the Hypoxicool unit, which has now allowed us to move into controlled experimentation, looking at um, embryonic stem cell biology, um, and differentiation of embryonic stem cells and the roles that um, the roles of epigenetic modulation play in those um, ongoing phenomena such as 5-methylcytosine and 5-hydroxymethylcytosine changes alongside looking into some of those more specific agents. Um, and, and we're coming up with some very interesting data which shows that much of the flux um, appears to be linked dramatically to changes in in the culture milieu, such as variants in media oxygenation. We've shown at this point that the use of deoxygenated media via the hypoxicule system actually supports enhanced mesenchymal stem cell yields against all other conditions that we've tested, including standard incubation, when used in combination with um, a workstation such as the SciTIF model, which um, which we have in the laboratory alongside our hypoxicule, and which in combination provides what we believe to be the only truly 100% O2 controlled system um, for media through to continuous incubation. I'm a cell biologist by trade um, who somehow ends up coming up with engineering challenges, but that's, that's not my backdrop. Um, but where I am is I'm at the cool face of in vitro research, and so what I'm aware of, what we're aware of in the laboratory setting are the tools that we need to further our research goals and ask the questions that we're currently unable to ask. Combining those tools is helping us to unlock um, unlock those boxes to, to look in and get the answers which we haven't really been able to do before using conventional approaches. Continuous oxygen control from culture media to incubation allowed Professor Forsyth and his team to explore and answer new research questions. Baker Ruskin is proud to be a part of the ongoing research at the University of Kiel, and we'd be proud to be a part of your work too. Learn more about how Baker Ruskin Controlled Oxygen Solutions can help you create continuous, physiologically relevant environments at bakerruskin.com. Thanks for watching.